So what do you think the first stage of wound healing is? Well, the first stage of wound healing is hemostasis. All right, we got to stop the bleeding. Well, how does that happen? What does the body do to achieve hemostasis? And why is this important in wound healing? What happens first? Well, we get vasoconstriction. Why do we get vasoconstriction? Well, there are a few reasons. So when a vessel is injured, endothelin, thromboxane A2, and even sympathetic nerve fibers contribute to vasoconstriction to limit bleeding. And this is just transient, so we can slow down the blood flow and get formation of our platelet plug. Well, how does that happen? When we get exposed collagen, we get exposed and release of von Willebrand's factor, platelets then adhere to that and then they change their shape. When they change their shape, they're activated, they release prothrombotic factors, and then we start to get fibrinogen bridges. These bind to that GP2B3A receptor and that creates that soft fibrinogen plug. We then get release of tissue factor, activation of the intrinsic and extrinsic coagulation cascades, and then we get formation of our stable fibrin clot, okay? And that's our blood clot that's going to limit bleeding, and that's the first phase of wound healing. Well, why is it uh, the phase of wound healing at all? Why isn't it just separate? It seems like we well, just stop the bleeding, and then you do wound healing. What does bleeding have to do with wound healing? The reason hemostasis is important in wound healing is because it's more than just stopping bleeding. It is initiating inflammation. It is recruiting cells, and it is creating a sterile barrier. So that's the beginning. The platelet plug itself begins to secrete a bunch of different growth factors. So platelet-derived growth factor, vascular endothelial growth factor, transforming growth factor. There are a ton of these. So you can check out this table right here, and this will give me an idea of what each of these do for the phases of wound healing. So check this out. And so understanding hemostasis is really important, not only with that abrasion or that laceration and what's beginning the wound healing process, but also, and when we're on blood thinners or agents that modulate hemostasis, could they have an impact with future wound healing?